In other news, there are calls tonight to recall the masks that the state of Tennessee has given away to stop the spread of the coronavirus. News Channel 5 investigates first exposed how the so-called sock masks were treated with unknown pesticide. The state says the masks are safe, but one state lawmaker told consumer investigator Jennifer Krause that's not enough. We have to admit when we made a mistake and do what's necessary in order to counter the impact, the effects of that mistake. Representative G.A. Hardaway believes these masks were a mistake. And as head of the Tennessee Black Caucus, he's calling on Governor Lee to launch a full investigation. We owe it to those who trust us to have their best interests at heart to know before we, we issue this type of equipment and tell you that you're protected by it. The state bought five million of these masks and has been giving them away to Tennesseans. Free, reusable, washable cloth masks are available at every state health department. But as News Channel 5 investigates first revealed, the masks produced by the Renfro Company, a North Carolina-based sock maker, were treated with a chemical known as Silvador, a known pesticide. Well, we certainly are encouraging folks to wear masks. When asked about the growing concerns, the governor had his health commissioner explain that the state is doing its own independent assessment and has talked with the manufacturer. All indications are that it is safe and it is commonly used in fabrics. Uh, but until we get that independent assessment back, we want people to use them at their discretion. Lisa Piercy said the state will stop giving out the masks for now. But the Memphis Democrat says that's not enough. Get them back. Representative Hardaway is not only calling for a full recall, he wants the state to determine whether those who have worn them need further medical treatment, and if so, to provide it free of charge. Hardaway believes many who took advantage of the free masks are disadvantaged, and the state let them down. Now it's time, he says, to make it right. We delivered these masks, we being the state of Tennessee, uh, and the public accepted them in good faith because they trusted us. Jennifer Krause, News Channel 5 investigates. Thanks, Jennifer. The state spent more than $8 million on the masks. The manufacturer insists they are safe and says the chemical has been demonstrated to be harmless to human health when used as intended.